hello and welcome to our youtube channel so in this video we are going to understand the demonstration of the deep learning project python based project which is bird spaces detection using image as well as the sound of that bird so we'll upload the image of the bird or we will upload the sound of that particular bird and based on that we will be able to uh, identify or we'll be able to classify which bird is that and the, for that purpose, we are going to uh, use the convolutional neural network algorithm to train the model. That is, and after training the model, we will be uh, using the trained model to upload the new image and then we will be able to classify it. Now, this is the uh, paper which uh, supports the concept and this is actually implemented using image only, but uh, in, the, in our actual implementation, we will be using the sound input also uh, and this is how the they have implemented using convolutional and neural networks and so on and uh, they have some results out of that okay so uh, next we'll discuss uh, the implementation part so this will be the uh, number of files and folders in our project so some of the files are uh, regarding the python code some uh, like static and templates contains the front end part where some HTML and CSS codes are there and the uh, rest of the things are the results and other data sets so in the data set folder we are having the image uh, uh, data sets where there are images of several birds and in the sound data set we are having the sounds of uh, different different birds and these are the Python codes which are actually uh, uh, used to implement the convolutional neural network or the deep learning algorithm under the uh, machine learning category to execute the task now uh, once we open everything in the vs code uh, after running the code we are actually using the flask framework to design the gui or the front end or the uh, web application for this python project and uh, at the end we will have to go to the browser and we'll type localhost colon 5000 as everything is hosted on the local server and then uh, here some login is there so username is admin and the password is also admin so after login here you are having the opportunity to upload the birds image so now you can choose the image now you can go to the uh, project folder and from that actually you can choose let's say from the data set i will be uh, choosing this let's say for this blackbird i will be choosing some image so let's say this image i will pick and then i will upload that image so that image will be uploaded over here and once i click on the test then uh, it uh, must display the name of the bird so here it has identified that bird correctly and if you want to uh, get some info about this bird you can click on this button so it will be opening the google search uh, for that particular bird and uh, it will be searching that bird on the uh, google so you will be getting the all information associated with that bird on the google so this is how it will be searched on the uh, google and then it will be uh, displaying the google results for that and the various information associated with that bird okay so this is one uh, way of finding the bird the second is detecting using the uh, sound file so here i will click on this and then i will have to upload the sound of that bird and now i will be having some different data set so in from the sound data set let's say for this uh, kingfisher will be picking up this sound and now once the sound is uploaded so this file is uploaded then we will test and now once we test it we will get this common kingfisher which is the same file which we have uploaded and then we will be if you want to get the information about this bird then we can uh, search on the google as well for the common kingfisher bird and we will be getting the google result for this now this will be the google result for this so this is how the complete implementation is all about and as far as the, the algorithm is concerned, so we are uh, we have implemented the convolutional neural network. So we are having the accuracy of the model, train the model, and this is the accuracy curve. So this is the uh, training accuracy blue one, which is almost 100%, but the testing accuracy is around somewhere around 80%. This is the confusion matrix for the various classes, and this is the loss curve so we can see this is the um, the training loss is very much less but the testing loss is uh, having some value 
so this is all about the implementation of this particular project so if uh, you need the code and the uh, explanation of the code and the papers and other material for this particular project you can check the description box below this video thank you